To add a watermark to photos in Canva, we first need to create said watermark. To do so, click on templates from the left-hand side panel in Canva, and then use the search bar up top to search for logo. We can either click to create a blank logo to start your watermark design from scratch, or scroll through these logo options to start with a template for your watermark design. Let's say I enjoy this one over here. So all we have to do is click on it and then uncustomize this template. This will redirect us to the Canva editor. Over here, we can change any of the elements of this Canva design that we wish. For instance, let's change the text so that it says yes to tech, which is the name of my business, and change this bottom text over here to say since 2017. Since my business has nothing to do with horses, let's go ahead and delete this horse, click on elements from the left-hand side panel, and let's use the search bar and search for a laptop. Let's include a laptop icon, for instance, of this lady over here working on a laptop, and make it slightly bigger, like so. If you wish, you can make your Canva watermark colorful, or we can have it white to overlay onto our Canva photos. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's click on the colors and make them white. Let's change this maybe to a light gray, and do the same with this photo. Let's change the circle background to the light gray. And let's change this photo to where most of the things are white as well. And then let's change this to slightly darker gray, like so. Now we have our watermark that we can add to our photos. So first thing we'll do is rename our Canva design up top which has to watermark, and then click on share up top, on download, make sure that PNG is selected, select the transparent background option, and then click on download again to save our Canva watermark to our computer. Awesome. Now we'll click on the menu option on the top left-hand side to head back to Canva's homepage. We'll be selecting the photo we want to add the watermark to. You can either upload your own photos to Canva by clicking on this Upload button up top, or you can click on a design size of your choice, such as social media, and then open an Instagram post, for instance, to add your photo to it, which you can then add a watermark. You can either then click on Uploads and select the photo you want to add a watermark to, or you can click on Photos from the left-hand side panel in Canva to add one of Canva's photos to then add your watermark to. Let's say I want to add a photo of myself. So I'll first click on Uploads from the left-hand side panel and then drag and drop a photo of myself onto the Canva design. Now, we'll click on Upload Files from the same Upload section, locate the watermark we just created in Canva, and then click on Open. This will upload the Canva watermark to our Canva design. Then all we have to do is click on it and add it to the location of our choice onto this design. You can either add it to the entire frame by resizing and repositioning it, and then clicking on the transparency icon and lowering the transparency to say 10%, for instance, to have your watermark on the entire photo, or let's delete this, you can just click it as is and add it to a location of your choice, such as the top left-hand side, resize and reposition it, and either leave it like that or lower the transparency again let's say 40%. Once you're done adding the watermark to your photo in Canva, make sure you rename your Canva design up top, which has to photo with a watermark, and then click on share on the top right-hand side. Click on download. Make sure that the settings, such as the file type, size, and preferences are the way you wish, and then click on download again at the bottom to save your photo with a watermark to your computer. Now, if we click on it, you'll be able to see the photo with the watermark added on the top left-hand side. If you want even more Canva tips and tricks, make sure to watch the video on the screen right now.